Okay, uh, first up, weekly reminder, uh, we have another few weeks before we're going to be shipping Adabox, so now is the time to go to adabox.com and sign up. Okay, kicking off, we've got Serpentes. The snakes are on this plane, and I love them. Uh, we've got two Serpentes from Arturo. Uh, we've got the USB-C style here, and then we also have a USB plug type. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same hardware, but this one's kind of neat, plugs right into a USB-C port. These feature a SAMD21 chip. They have um, a little bit of SPI flash, I think like four megabytes of SPI flash. Um, there's an RGB LED, there's a reset button, and they're castellated so you can slot them directly onto a circuit board. So it's kind of like, um, like a Feather M0, but made really, really small. And I think these are really cute. I especially like the plug one, because again, you can plug that right into your USB-C port. Okay, next up. Next up, we have the List 2 MDL. Uh, this is very similar sounding to the List 3 MDL, which we already stocked, but it's a little bit different. It is a magnetometer, it's from ST. They make lovely magnetometers. This one is a slightly, I think it's an older chip, and it doesn't uh, have different ranges. It has one range of plus or minus 50 micro Tesla, which uh, or maybe is 50, plus or minus 50 gauss, sorry. Um, that's 55,000 micro Tesla. And uh, it's got quick connectors on the sides. It's a very easy triple axis magnetometer. People love to use these with IMUs, but also you can do them, use them for detecting magnetic fields. And I'll show a demo in a bit. Okay, next up. Next up, it's a revision. This is the VL6180, which we've stocked for quite a bit. It's a nice little distance sensor. Um, works uh, really well. It uses a time of flight sensor. It actually uses a little like a laser cavity, which is super neat. Uh, it's the little sister to the VL53L0X. Um, and I've got a little demo. I'll show it off on the overhead. Uh, so here you can see, you can actually even see the little laser blinking. And this is the detector. And then what's nice about this is it has a very low range. So it can be like super close. And it's like, hey, you're only like like less than a centimeter away, or higher or lower, and then it has a range of, oh, I don't know, what does it say in the back? Five to 100 millimeters. So the VL53L0X, which is the um, bigger sister to this, has a uh, longer range, but it doesn't have as good of a short range. So if you need short range sensing, um, this sensor is actually quite good. If you need longer range, check out the VL53L0X. Okay, and the star of the show tonight, Besides you, Lady Ada, and our community is? The ICM 2649. This is uh, a Brian made breakout, uh, Brian brand TM. This has a, um, a TDK Invincense six axis IMU. It's an accelerometer and a gyroscope, three axes each. And what's really nice about this sensor is it has a very wide range. That's why the code's wide range. Instead of most accelerometers and gyros that go up to only uh, plus or minus 16 Gs and plus or minus 2,000 degrees per second. This goes about twice as far, plus or minus 30 Gs and plus or minus 4,000 degrees per second. So this is designed for um, situation where, situations where you have like high impact, like sports uh, is kind of what they're designing it for, or action or some robotics, where things are going to be moving a little bit faster and maybe hitting a little bit harder. Uh, you'll want a sensor that can handle that wider range. So it's a very high quality sensor. Uh, TDK makes like really, really good sensors. Um, and the 6 axis one, of course, pairs really great with the LIS 2 MDL. And so I'll show it on the overhead. Um, so actually what I did here is I've got a feather with an OLED display and then I've connected, um, I thought it would be neat to show off that, um, that you can just chain these together. So I have a quick cable going from one to the other all over I squared C and so you can see I'm reading the accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer as I, as I twist this around uh, the first two sets of numbers move. And then this is for the magnetometer. So you can see the bottom set of numbers move. And then of course you can bolt these together if you like to make you know, a little nine off kit that um, moves together if you so wish. Uh, and then use that with um, our uh, HRS uh, Fusion tutorial that we wrote to get um, yaw and pitch and rotation out of the 9 DOF sensor. But a great sensor, especially, I think, um, for sports and robotics, what the sensor would be best for. Okay. Best of products. Best of products.